Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'll show you my version of Princess Jasmine's hairstyle and I'll also show you how to make this awesome headband. So the first thing you need to do for the hair is to get a reference photo. So after I did that, I'm just going to part my hair down the middle and then I'm going to start curling my hair away from my face. This is a one inch curling iron and here I go, just curling my hair away from my face. So before I started recording this video, I curled the ends of the rest of my hair just so that I have a little bit more texture. So yeah, now that my hair is curled, I'm going to spray it all with some hairspray. And then I'm going to start sectioning my hair for the teasing. And Jasmine's hair is huge and it's going to be impossible to get that huge hair effect without teasing and if you have extensions i suggest using them because her hair is so thick so as you can see i am just teasing my hair from the back of my head all the way until the front so this is how far forward i'm going to tease my hair i want to keep that little middle part there and don't forget to tease the sides of your hair because she has teasing, well, thick hair all around. So just spray it with some hairspray and now smooth it out with your teasing brush when you're finished. And the next thing I'm going to do is put on my headband and I'm just going to tie it at the back of my neck. And then I'm just going to smooth it out one more time with my teasing brush. So now I'm going to pick out the front sections of my hair. If you have thin hair, I suggest, you know, taking more hair from the front parts of your head. But this worked out for me, so I'm just going to be teasing all that hair. And make sure you spray it with a lot of hairspray because you want it to be pretty voluminous. And then, of course, smooth it out with your teasing brush or comb. And I probably should have done this earlier, but I didn't really plan this video. I just kind of winged the hairstyle. All right, so gather up the tease section of the hair and twist the ends and then pin it under your hair so that you get this puffy look. And yep, bobby pin it, spray it. And moving back to the front sections of the hair, I'm just going to pull those back loosely and then pin it underneath the poof. So if your bangs are shorter and you have pieces sticking out like me, just spray it with some hairspray, brush it down, and then pin it with a bobby pin and just stick it under the bangs so you can't see it. There we go. Now moving on to her ponytail. Just gather all your hair to one side of your head and tease the entire thing, like make it huge. <laughs> and then spray it with some hairspray. So depending on the length of your hair is how many bubbles you can get out of it. So I did two bubbles. So I tied it sort of halfway in my ponytail and then I loosened it up and then I tied it at the very end and loosened it up and you can see I got this bubble effect. And so I curled the ends and sprayed it with some hairspray and that's it. If you have ribbon that's the same color as your headband, you can tie it around the hair elastics, but I did not. But I was happy with the outcome. This is me saying, hey, it turned out pretty good. <laughs> so this is how the back looks like. And now I'm going to show you how to make this headband. So what you'll need is a medallion that kind of looks like the one that Jasmine has on her headband. I got this from a thrift store. And you'll need two markers, one lighter blue color and one darker blue color. And some scissors. Also a needle and thread, and then your headband or ribbon that's a light blue or turquoise color. And honestly, this is the belt for my bathrobe, but it worked out really well. As you saw previously, my medallion was pink, so I used the light blue marker to color the inside of the medallion, and then the darker blue to color the perimeters of the medallion. Firstly, I found the center of my belt by folding it in half, and that's just where I decided to place my medallion. So you could either choose to have your medallion facing vertically or make it horizontal. I chose vertical because that's how Jasmine has it. Now I'm just going to begin to sew this by threading my needle. If you don't know how to do this, all you have to do is put the thread into the needle and then cut it off at about like maybe six inches and then just tie the ends of the thread together. 
I usually tie three knots just to be safe. And of course, if you hate sewing, don't know how to sew, or you just don't want to sew, you can always use hot glue or fabric glue to attach the medallion to the headband. So now I'm just sewing the medallion into place and I'm just threading the needle through the holes of the medallion and through the headband. And yep, I'm just repeating this all around. And once you have no more room to sew, you're going to tie a knot by sticking the thread through the back of the headband into the fabric. And as you can see, you have a little loop and just stick a needle through the loop and pull it through and it makes a knot and just repeat this like two or three more times and you're good to go. Just sew the other side in the same exact method as we sewed this side. Once you've tied your knot, just cut your thread and your headband is complete. See, that was so easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this hair and headband tutorial. If you haven't checked out my makeup tutorial already, go check it out. And I'll be doing some more princess tutorials because I love to pretend that I'm a princess. <laughs> um, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye!